What's up and welcome back to our channel. What's Today up? we have a video because we want to share a story with you guys. Mm -hmm. So this is story time. So I don't know if you guys checked it out, but on Netflix there is this new documentary on the Cecile Hotel in Los Angeles. So we seen that and we were like, that that sounds so familiar, right? right? right. Not even knowing, we stayed at that hotel. Well, Name of the hotel back then when we stayed in it, it was like what, what, 2014, I believe? It was called Stay on May. That's what it's called now. But when we checked into the hotel, we were just, she was kind of like, oh, it reminds me like of like a hostel. Because we was like, we need to find the closest hotel to the garment district. might know it as the LA Fashion District, all right? Because everybody knows traffic in LA is a headache. So it's like, we need to be as close to the shopping as we can get. So we have to, you know, be in traffic. So she ended up looking online. And during that time, I think, I don't, I remember, I don't remember how much the room was, but it was, I think it was a pretty cheap like room, $70. like 70 bucks. For a room in LA, Downtown, that's damn good. And I'm gonna tell y'all, this is how it was. It was $50 for a night. Right. But at that place, it's a shared bathroom in the hallway. So if you wanted a private bathroom, you had to pay extra. So that's yeah. why I ended up paying $70 for the right. night. Right, right. So, it, you know, we didn't know that it was the Cecile Hotel until Not we seen all. this documentary and we were like, oh, damn. Oh, shit, we stayed there. We stayed there. <laughs> right. But, um, after watching it and you know and listening to everything is going it started to make sense why we experienced mm -hmm. what we experienced yeah, there flashbacks for sure seriously <laughs> flashbacks so we didn't realize that we stayed in one of the most haunted hotels right in los angeles right. so we want to give you guys a little peek of our story on what we experienced at the sister hotel that's right so uh first thing i noticed when we checked into the uh, hotel like it was a pretty eerie but comfortable little hotel. We walked in, um, we walked into the front desk and at that time they they, they checked us in and everything. It wasn't like a car, it was a key. Yeah, it was a key. Like, like, seriously, it yeah. was a key, like very old school. So that threw us off, well, threw right, me off at right, first because right. I'm thinking like, okay, this is not a typical hotel. hotel. <laughs> it's right. like, I felt like we was in an apartment, low key. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, okay, whatever. This is LA, right. of course. Of so course. you don't know what that's, you're going to get. We never know. Get it. Seriously. So um, we got the hotel key. Mm -hmm. We was going to go get on the elevator, but he don't do elevators. I don't do elevators. And this, and <laughs> if you guys watch this documentary now, y'all will see why. But that's not the reason why I don't do elevators. I'm claustrophobic. I don't, I don't like being in very closed in spaces, especially with a lot of people. And plus, I've seen too many movies where elevators be getting stuck. And I ain't trying to deal with that. So I was like, nah, babe, let's just take the stairs. Good okay. Thing Good thing the we didn't take the elevator. And if y'all watch the documentary, y'all will see why. <laughs> not saying that they would have happened to us, but hell, yeah, shit, you don't know. we don't know that. Right. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, we ended up taking the stairs up to our room. I don't remember exactly what floor we were know. on. I don't remember what floor we were on. But when we walked to our room, we turned the little key to get inside. The first thing I noticed in the room that stood out still to this day was this big orange hand. It was a literally a big orange hand like this. And you could sit down in it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> And that, like, that threw me off. I was like, babe, why is it a big orange ass hand? Like, in but the it literally room? looked like an apartment. Yeah, it like did. A, like a studio apartment. Right, right. You walk in, there's like a sink with a mirror right mm -hmm. there. Yep. And then That's there's it. a bed, there's a chair, and then there's this little private bathroom. And yeah. the bathroom was red. Yeah, that, that's what threw me off. It was eerie. Right. It a was red eerie. bathroom? Yeah, it mm -hmm. automatically gave you like this. Ugh, type like feeling, this. but you know, we wasn't thinking nothing of nah, it back then nah, because back we were then, like, we were just excited. We was like, ooh, we get to stay in a room downtown, close to LA. We get to get get our shopping on. We don't yeah. have to worry about no traffic. 
We ain't care about that. Yeah. <laughs> and they offered breakfast. Right. Like, yeah, they, they had did. like a little workout. It was a workout room. And, and guys, this is the part that, that got me excited, right? I didn't mean to cut you off. The workout room was literally, it was a glass. Like, you could work out and everybody that's walking on the main street, downtown LA, could see you working out. So, you know, that was like, oh, shit, I'm about to show out. You know what right. I mean? That I love that part. But the thing that really kind of spooked me out was I actually had to leave. I had to actually go handle some business in LA that actual evening. But the story that she's going to tell you guys really blew, I guess you could say blew my high, as to say, because the shit, it, 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 it messed me all the way up. So I'm going to let her tell you guys her little experience that she experienced. Like while she was there, I'm going to tell you guys my experience. So go ahead. All right, so he had to leave to go handle some stuff and I stayed there by myself, you know, not even tripping or whatever. And I was tired, so I decided to take a nap. At first, I was kind of like, it was hard for me to fall asleep, of course, because I was there by myself. And I kept like hearing people walk up and down the hall and I just, I don't like, you know, stuff like that. But I ended up falling asleep anyway, like I turned on the TV. But then I got woken up out of my sleep, like I couldn't breathe. And, you know, I've had sleep paralysis before, you know, like when you wake up and you see yourself or your body, your soul has left your body or whatever the case may be. Um, But it wasn't like that. It literally felt like I was being strangled and it was really difficult for me to breathe and it made me panic. So then after a while, I finally woke up and it was like a, like a gasping, you know what I mean? And it had me tripping. Like I really thought I was, I thought I had sleep paralysis at that time but it was different because I used to have that a lot um back in like 2014 but that wasn't sleep paralysis that was me being choked okay and now watching the documentary and knowing the night stalker stayed there have you heard about him if you haven't google it even watching the documentary like a lot of crazy people have died or stayed in that killers have stayed in that hotel people have died in that hotel so it makes sense now what seven years later why i experienced that Mm -hmm. and it just Mm -hmm. brought that memory up again because i'm like damn i was being choked (laughs) like somebody was low-key probably really trying a ghost probably was really trying to low-key kill me Mm -hmm. but you don't think about it until you hear, you know, the story. So that's what my experience was. And then after that, it was like, I had to leave. I couldn't stay in the room no more by myself while he was gone. So then I left and uh, waited for him until he got back. I just took a walk down the street and called him and let him know, like, bro, something's going on here. But right. we had already bought the room. So we're like, we had already paid. Money back. Like, you know, yeah, so I'm thinking like, late. damn, we got to sleep here. Right, you know right, what I mean? Yeah. So... <laughs> That's like when we finally got back, then that's when, you know, he was able to kind of get that feel, a sense of what I was feeling when right. I was there by myself. Right. So he can kind of explain to you how he was going, what he was going through that night. Yeah. All right. So when I got back, you know, she told me, you know, what she experienced and everything. So I'm like, oh, but you, you sure that just was sleep paralysis? Because that's what it sounded like to me. And the way, the look on her face, how she was explaining, I'm like, no. Nah. She, she, this, this series, this ain't just no sleep paralysis. You know what I'm saying? So I got there, you know, I made sure she was comfortable and everything. We was chilling after that. We got something to eat uh, downtown and we was, we was cooling. It's not until when nighttime hit and, you know, she ended up falling asleep, you know, because at that time, like, I was used to stand up late. So I wasn't the type to go to sleep real early. So I was staying up watching TV, um, and just, you know, chilling until I fell asleep or what, trying to find something boring, blah, 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 blah. But when I got up to use the restroom, so I got up to use the restroom and then came back and sat on the bed, I was like, damn, okay, it's kind of cold up in here, okay? During that time, and anybody from LA, especially like during what, I think it was like August, it was like around August, mm-hmm. it's hot as hell in LA around that time, you know what I mean? I don't remember if they had central air. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. But it was I, one of them little heaters. All those little heater things. Those mm-hmm. old school heaters. That's mm-hmm. right. That's right. That's right. But I was cold. I was like, okay. When I, at first when I was in here in the room, okay, I didn't feel no cold. But as soon as I get up to go to the bathroom, I come back in the room, it's cold as hell. You see what I'm saying? I watch a lot of movies. Whenever it's cold in a room, that means something in there. Something around up in there. Some, some stuff is going on up in here. 
So I'm, I'm chilling. I sat back on the bed. I got cold. So I was like, okay, man, I'm going to get up under the blanket. Okay, I'm going to chill. Okay. I pay attention to the details very thoroughly, okay? My wife can tell you that. When we walked into the room, the whole time, the hand was sitting like this. Like, y'all remember, remember that orange hand? The hand was sitting like this. I kid you not. The hand, I can't make this up. Look at my face. <laughs> I can't make this up. It's funny that now. Hand, no, it's it funny now, funny but funny back then, no, it wasn't no goddamn every shit. I'm telling you. The hand was this way. The hand was, when you walk into the room, the hand was like this. When we walked, when, I mean, when I, when, when I looked this time, the hand was like this. So I'm like, bruh, I know I'm not tripping. So I like, babe, babe, she sleep light. So I knew she was going to wake up. I said, babe, the hand moved. She think the shit funny, babe. Okay, now you tripping. Did you smoke or something? I'm like, babe, you, come on now. I, I, I'm not high. The hand moved. So I was like, babe, you remember we walked into the room? So I had to give her this whole little scenario. Remember we walked into the room? I was like, oh, babe, look at this orange hand. It was sitting like this, right? She was like, yeah, babe, it was. I said, well, how the hell did the hand get like this? I I did not get up to touch the chair, that little hand chair. She definitely didn't do it. When I got up to use the bathroom, the hand was the way it was when we came up in the room. You see what I'm saying? The hand turned by itself. I'm not making this shit up. The hand turned, it had that turn by itself. No, not even that. When he woke me up and he was ex he was explaining about the hand, the crazy thing about it was while he's telling me all of this, I hear somebody trying like they get into the room. You know how you hear the door wiggling? Because at that hotel, it's a it's like a hostel, like I said. So everybody's walking back and forth. They got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Every room don't have a private room. Right. So I'm hearing, I'm like, babe, you, you don't hear that? It's like somebody trying to get into the room. Mm -hmm. So he gets up to go check and it stops, like the rattling stops. Mm -hmm. So of course he's going to open the door to see, you know, what's going on. And nobody he opened the door and nobody was there. Because, nobody was in the hallway. Right. Because the kind of door, like, you know how you, you can, you know, somebody like, you can like this, you can feel it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like. All night, you can hear people walking back and forth, back and forth. Whatever was right there walked wherever it was going, and it just stopped. And then you heard like a, like, you know, to the door. And when she said that, I'm like, man, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Here we go with something else again. So in my mind, it was fight or flight. It's us versus whoever is behind that door. So like my wife just said, I got up, I opened up the door, nobody was there. And I'm like, okay, I just heard footsteps. But nobody's at the door. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? In, the nobody in the hallway at all. I was like, okay, I'm tripping. Oh, we were spooked. Dude, that was like in the middle from the time, I mean, from the time we checked in to the time from that morning to that night. That's how many incidents that we personally can honestly say that we experienced by staying in that hotel for that one night. For that one night. And if we didn't know that it was a haunted hotel. Nope. We thinking that because like we're superstitious, like right, you know what I mean? Right, so, right. you know, we believe in stuff like yeah. that. But we didn't think that like putting two and two together, like we really experiencing some paranormal activity right. shit right now. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like watching that documentary got us it tripping like, like, like wow. Oh, like we right. was really experiencing that. Yeah. We didn't even know that stay on main was nah. now CISO Hotel, you know, then CISO Hotel. No. We didn't know that, we didn't know nothing about no. the CISO Hotel. No. We were just like, oh, this is a cheap hotel. Yeah. But it's like Close now, it. it's like there's this movie called Follow Me or the, something oh, like that. Yeah. That's what made me like, oh shit, babe, we stayed there. Right. And then I got the Googling. Now, next thing you know, Netflix coming out with this documentary. Mm -hmm. And we like, Damn, like, like history we experienced that. Like, that. We lived it <laughs> and we experienced it. You know what I mean? Like all jokes aside, guys, like the stuff that we are telling you guys, we are not making it up. Like it's real life shit that we experience. You see what I'm saying? Like you see and it's like, the receipt. Right, 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 like, right, we, right. Stayed we stayed there. there. We stayed there. Like we cannot make this up. And it's <laughs> like one of those things to where like, you know, after a few years, you tend to forget certain things and stuff like that. But watching the documentary on Netflix really, like, had us like, oh, shit.
shit. Like it, it was, it, it came back as if it happened just yesterday. You see what I'm saying? Right, especially about the lady that died there. We. Yeah. Idea that yeah, somebody no. like anybody died there, right? No, I don't. I don't do that. And then no, to know that you that. know to see her looking out the the uh, elevator and the elevator not moving, we was like, we glad we didn't take that right. elevator. Thank you. And that explains. <laughs> Ooh, the, gave me goosebumps. Thank you. Me too. Like, <laughs> like you planned. Can you imagine? And it, it now we know why it was so cheap. Yeah, not, in, that's, in that's LA, exactly. I ain't shit cheap in LA. We, I tell you, I'm from there. I ain't nothing in LA cheap. Downtown LA, at that. Which, if if y'all, if people from LA or my LA people, people who even visit LA, y'all know how LA look downtown. You know what I'm saying? It ain't shit. It ain't nothing glamorous about downtown LA. You know what I mean? You got a lot of homeless people out there. You know what I mean? Bums everywhere. They got the whole little homeless shelter and all types of stuff down there. And it's just a lot of people. It's, it's, it's thick out there. Mm. You know what I mean? Downtown LA. You see what I'm saying? So to find out that you got came up on a bid, like a cheap little room like that in LA, downtown, close to the fashion district. district. That served breakfast? You know what I mean? That served breakfast. And you can work out by the mirror where everybody can oh, look at you. We thought we was doing Oh, it. we found a gold mine. In a haunted ass hotel. In a haunted ass hotel. <laughs> They don't tell you that. They should have put tell it. You, that. you know they how they had a little that. small caption, this little, little disclaimer. They ain't tell us nothing. Mm -mm. We should have known they gave us that little key <laughs> to that damn room, and we turned it in, and you see an orange hand in the middle of the room with a, a red, with a red bathroom. bathroom. See, if you see when you watch what's the name of that? American Horror Story. See, you watch American Horror Story. If that came out back then, we would have known not to check in a hotel like that. And we was just so happy. He took a picture. There was like a little dog. Yes, a little dog said Hollywood. Hollywood. I took a picture and I cannot. He took a picture. That phone is long gone. Rest in peace to that phone. I broke it. But that I took a picture right there. If you guys see, it was a little. It's a little. If you've doggy. been there, then you know. It says Hollywood. And I think it was like a mirror or something. I don't know. I can't remember. But that little Hollywood thing is right there by the elevator. Mm -hmm. Okay. The elevator is right there. And then you it's a little picture with a little doggy that says Hollywood. You know what I mean? You didn't think nothing of it. I was like, oh, babe, here, take a picture real quick. Mm. So we took the picture. Don't have no proof of it. I wish I would have because then I could have shown you guys, you know, what I'm talking about. But, yeah. But now, stay on main. It's closed. Mm-hmm. I, I don't even think it's a tourist place. It's close to the public. They, no, they shut it down. No no tour. You can't even tour the place. On. Not even knowing that it was really like some, yep. some real haunted paranormal yeah. shit going yeah. up in there. So yeah. now that we have watched this documentary and know that we really stayed at the Cecil Hotel, mm -hmm. we were just like, we got to share this. We got to share the story. To we got to share you guys like, our story. Seriously. Like, how, do, how does that happen? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So... Mm -hmm. That's but our story. The thing about LA, like, what you guys don't know me personally, from me being from there, LA have a lot of little haunted places that they don't tell you about. You see what I'm saying? LA is a very eerie place. You see what I'm saying? Like, my wife said, like, sometime, like, we will go out there to visit and everything. She's like, but I kind of get an uneasy feeling because it's something about that LA atmosphere, that energy is a very eerie feeling even if you guys go to hollywood especially at nighttime and you kind of just walking around and you really just peep game it's a very eerie kind of like vibe that you kind of get you know what i mean it's it's, it's kind of unpleasant especially if you're in tune with that type of stuff and because like like i said we we believe so mm -hmm. of course if we believe we're going to pick up on things right. and pick up on a lot of stuff being in LA, so why? <laughs> I guess <laughs> being at Stay on Main, we picked it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think it's cool though that we get to share our experience now that it's being brought to the light. We like that. Right. We, we part of that, you know. Right. So right, we wanted right. to share our story with you guys and right. let you know what we experienced. So I hope you guys enjoyed our little story, you know, about the Stay on Main, Stay on Main, aka Cecil Hotel. <laughs> Or Cecile, <laughs> Cecile, however, however, you, however, you however they say it. it, I know it as Stay on May. Right, you know what I'm saying. So that's, that's it, it, man. That's our story time. That's right. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. And we're out. We out.